Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Azure Data Factory Master Program video series. In today's session, we will see this is hands on. We will see how to convert CSV to parquet file using the 15 steps in the Azure Data Factory. Remember exactly we are going to follow 15 steps to achieve this. There are two scenarios involved. We will see if you have a folder with uh, like combination of different file formats by choosing the single CSV file, how to convert to the parquet. So the second scenario is you have an entire folder with multiple CSV files. How we can able to convert all these CSV files into the corresponding parquet file. So these two scenarios we will see. In order to do this particular lab, the prerequisite is we need a two storage account, source lab and sync lab. I need one Azure data factory. In that I need integration runtime, which is a compute infrastructure. I need two linked services. One is for source, one is for sync two data sets for reading the source data and writing to the sync two data sets one activity that is copy activity to copy data from source to sync pipeline which is a orchestration uh, which basically execute the copy activity okay inside the like if you look at the hands on steps so we need to create three resources source blob sync blob and adf then inside the source blob, I'll creating the container called cust and I'll upload the CSV file. In the sync side, once we run the pipeline, this is how the output looks like. Now, in order to do the lab, first we need to, in the sixth step is we need to open the ADF and create two linked services, two data sets, okay? So then we will be creating a pipeline. In that pipeline, we will be using copy activity. Inside copy activity, we will use the source data set which we created, sync data set which we created. Then we will be running the pipeline. These are the total steps. So out of which, so first let's finish the three steps. Okay. So I'll be moving on to the portal. So if you look at this portal, let me log in into the portal, portal.azure.com. Go inside. Let's click on storage accounts. Click create storage account. Okay, so I'll be creating a resource group called Cloud Only iPhone Dev iPhone RG1 RG. Click OK and create a Cloud Only Source Blob 1. And then just see in which region is to us, just click Review to create. So this is basically our source blob storage I am going to create. So just click create, it will be created. Second step is we need to create the sync blob storage. Just open this portal. Let's go inside the storage account. Click create the storage account. Come down. So you can choose this particular dev iPhone RG and you can say cloud funded sync blob one. Okay, in the same region or some other region you can take not an issue second step is also done let's create the azure data factory so portal.azure.com login into our account so let's create the data factory click create data factory so this is basically the dev iphone rg cloud pundit ad of p2 15.08 click review plus create so then click create so if you look at here the total three steps is finished source blob sync blob and data factory so the next step is we need to create a source container and upload the csv files and sync said you just have to create a custard container and then we need to open the ADF. So first let's finish these two things. Let me go to the source, go to resource. Okay, come to the container, click container, just to create a container called cust. Okay, so inside the cust, first for scenario one, I need to have a combination of files, right? So I need a combination of files. What I'll do, I'll just come here, you go here, um, Cloud from the iPhone data sets, set iPhone com, or you go to 19th folder. You can see there are folders, subfiles, there are multiple uh, like gzip, zip, all other file formats. I'm just uploading here. But I just wanted to convert a single file, which is basically let's imagine credit one underscore daily.csv. 
credit one underscore daily dot csv file i want to convert into parquet so if you have a single file requirement where you want to take this this particular file and convert into parquet even though you have other csv file and other type of files i don't care about that so come to the sync sync blob storage in the sync blob storage go inside the container let's create a container called cast out create a container called cast out then click create so custard container is created which is empty now come to the data factory okay now if you see the steps open adf two linked services two data sets we need to create okay in order to finish up to 10th step we need to open this azure data factory okay so if you look at here so this is the basically the data factory in this we need to create a two linked services click on this click new so first one is for blob storage this is the ls for blob source linked service this is the subscription this is a storage name source is the storage name test connection if you have any doubt create it similarly we need to create a one more linked service for the blob but this time we need to connect to the sync blob we need to connect to the sync blob come down select the subscription storage is sync blob test connection and create it Okay, so now come here, author. Let's create a two data sets. Click here, click new data set. So first we need to create a source data set. Select this. So source is CSV. Very careful of the CSV. So from now onwards, uh, when you are creating data sets, it should not be blind. You need to be little careful what type of files we want it to read. Okay, source set we want it to read only CSV file. This is the cast in this. I want to convert only this particular file, so I'll be selecting a, that particular file. Click OK. Okay, so now we need to create this sync data set, new data set, and this is for the blob. So select the blob storage, and uh, so this time sync data set must be of type parquet. Select a parquet and uh, DS for blob sync linked services, sync linked service. So we need to choose the output container where we want to upload our parquet file. Okay, this is the custom container. Click OK. Once this is done, now we just click on the new pipeline and bring the copy data. So if you see here, the next steps is add a pipeline, use the copy activity, reference source and sync data set. Okay, let's do that. So I already created a pipeline. This pipeline, I can name it as a PL underscore pl underscore data ingestion ingestion daily something like this once you have done this close this bring the copy data activity so source is just use the source data set sync is just use the sync data set so let's say source side i just selected a single file but let's say in the source all the dot csv files if you want dot wildcard file path start dot csv all these wildcard file paths and all how to use we have discussed already you can go and watch that particular session in an order to understand how we can able to use the wildcard file options okay very powerful so now we are trying to convert single csv file into the parquet let's see the number of files if you see files read is one files written is one so what you can do now is you can just go to the cast out refresh this you can see a credit one underscore daily dot park it became the parquet so let's download this file and i have a parquet viewer so which is basically see park is a columnar storage which infer the schema automatically basically spark and all when the parquet is reading no need to scan the data okay by default it will uh, keep the schema as well within this and uh, it is very best for reading the data it's not human readable you can see here there is a columnar storage best for reading so now we will see these kind of files how to read is 
I have a tool to view this particular data, how to install that particular tool in order to view this particular parquet files. I'll show you, okay, what you can do. You can come here, just click on this, click open file. Now you can just go to downloads, go to today, okay, 15th. If you go to 15th, you can see the time is 627. Now just it is 628, 628 what file came? You can see this is the credit one daily dot parquet upload this so all the columns in this file i want to see so if you see this is the csv file data this is the parquet if you look at the csv file what csv file this file is having this file data and parquet file data should match see credit id credit type credit name credit score total 12 records first row is header so total 12 rows are there if you see here here also we have the 12 rows uh, and uh, including the headers total 30 okay so data is properly converted into the parquet this is when we have a single file let's imagine now we have multiple csv files okay now i'll be uploading the multiple csv files into the source upload browse for files let me go to the like this uh, cloud pandit iphone data set set iphone comma here if i go here will be i'll be able to see cash to two cash to three cash to four like this so there are three files i'm uploading upload this so these three files let's quickly view the data that we have inside these csv files cash to two csv is having what check it it is having the players data cash to three dot csv is having what check it it is also having the players data but six to ten this is having the data from so 14 to 54 so id is not matching okay so 14 to 24 again this is a duplicate so let's delete this cast 4csv which is a duplicate not an issue okay you can have duplicate not an issue okay so fine so cast to cast 3 there are two files i uploaded these two files i'll be converting into the parquet so before i convert and load those two files into the parquet i'll be deleting the data which we have here so this cast out folder is empty now come to the pipeline very simple you no need to make much changes so source side if you see source data set okay source data set here we have selected the file when you have multiple files okay all the files that you want to convert into parquet from this container what you can do is remove this come to the sync uh, pipeline and uh, copy activity source data set here you need to use the wildcard file path okay even if you forgot let's say i forgot and i'm trying to run it will throw error let me show you debug this it will immediately throw error saying that source data set is pointed to the folder select the wildcard so it will enforce you so you don't worry even if you forget it will help us it will validate the pipeline okay now let's try to debug this So this pipeline is taking quite time just wait okay we can see right it is in progress now so let's see it is succeeded if you click on this okay we can see two files it read total 10 rows and it has written the two files okay let's go back to the sync storage refresh it you will see cust 2 dot parquet cust 3 dot parquet so as i mentioned parquet files you cannot able to read it here okay so what you can do is you can download these two files cast 2.cs uh, parquet cast 2.parquet cast 3.parquet just download this okay once you download go to this tool click here click open file okay just go to downloads select with the today filter okay now you can see here um so at what time six o'clock 32 minutes you can see six o'clock 32 means cast three is there cast two is that cast two i basically downloaded two times mistake cast three if you see it should have the c6 to 10 ids okay player details similarly if you go to the other file that we have right so based on time if i filter out you can see cast two dot 
park it so this is have 14 to 54 these are the ids okay so we can able to so this particular tool how to install that particular video link i will be posting under this particular video description you can just follow these steps to download this this is very very helpful in the real time to view the parquet file data as those are not human readable okay so this is very helpful so i hope and uh, let's go through the some of the summary questions that we need to know which of the following file format is a columnar storage uh, file format remember as i mentioned columnar storage file formats are parquet the answer is b which of the following file formats is human readable human readable is csv but parquet or ors are not human readable okay in a csv file what is used to separate individual fields within a record as you know it's a comma separated but we can also use semicolon tab and pipe all those things we will see those things in the coming uh, videos okay uh, which of the following file format is compressed as you know park is a compressed that's why it's not human readable which of the following file format is considered best for reading large data set efficiently is park park is best for reading the data because it will store data column by column not a row by row not record by record okay next which of the following file formats can automatically infer schema from the data as i mentioned park will uh, give the schema of the data automatically because it will store that schema and it will give you easily but in csv and all uh, spark when it when spark reading the csv file it has to scan one more time the performance wise it is not good okay it takes a lot of time that's why we always define the user different schema in the spark next which of the following data processing framework is commonly associated with the use of parquet file is apache spark the answer b is correct okay so thanks for watching this particular video this is very very helpful for you because uh, in many of my real-time use cases we have uh, ingested data from csv to the parquet from on-premise ftp and file systems into data lake which is very very important so please learn this and if you have any questions please put your questions in the comment session and finally i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel uh, which basically encourage me to do more videos thank you so much